the program is designed to be like the best like PhD training program in the world and I think in my opinion at least it is probably one of the best ones out there so far because I, I feel like within these four years I've learned so much I feel like I improved so much from from where I started from I mean I wasn't that confident to start with but once you have been through the process then you feel like you improve so much and you learn so much not only about science but you learn about yourself as well so I think yeah yeah I just feel grateful and yeah happy to be here uh, it's really good in terms of microbiology chemistry computational biology and of course plant sciences really interesting projects come in the interface of all these areas and we have that possibility to at least test it and if it doesn't work it was only a rotation. One of the things I had to do was to learn how to adapt uh, and to work with different teams uh, which I think is a skill that will be very useful in the future. Yeah I can't really promote it enough because when I talk to people about the rotation program and people are often like oh do you think that's a good thing to do or do you think you're wasting your time doing the rotations in the first year and you're definitely not because you don't really lose out on any time. It allows you to understand how important the supervisor student relationship is because you get to experience um, three different scenarios of that. Um, yeah I think the best thing about the program was the fact I was able to take ownership of my project and kind of design it with my supervisor at the beginning so it was a project I was really interested in because beforehand I was very into plant genetics and plant development and it was only after coming here and trying the rotations that I realised that I was interested in biochemistry as well. Then you have um, a whole cohort of other people who have been through the same program and that's a really nice community to be part of because there are the PhD students who are here with you at the time but then there are also rotation students who've gone off and done all sorts of things around the world and so that's really nice to be able to see that and also have the opportunity to interact with them as well. I mean if you feel like you, you can still push yourself a little bit more then I definitely recommend rotation program. I mean, if they already have something they really want to do already, I would say maybe rotation is probably not going to be for you. And so you, you should really come in with the attitude that you want to try different areas of science and find what you like best. And really the big bonus of the rotation program is that you get to try out different supervisors and different lab sizes and see what suits you best and if they like you too. Just apply. Do your absolute best. <laughs> Read up about as many different people as you can that are here at JIC. Like I think it's really important that you apply for the program because you think the rotation is what would suit you. Um, mainly because they will know at interview <laughs> if you're just applying for reasons other than that. When I was applying, I really made sure that I understood the science that was going on, that I looked at the different research projects. I feel like that probably strengthened my application and it also made me more sure that I wanted to come here. Um, so. Get across your enthusiasm for the subject because it really comes across on paper. Um, if, you, if you really enjoy your subjects and if you enjoy your subjects, you're most likely to do well in it and get the most out of the program because all the best scientists are those who enjoy what they do. I, I applied to the, to the rotation program because I really love plant sciences and also um, I'm aware that all the problems that agricultural systems are facing now must be solved based on scientific knowledge. Yeah, so. I, I was really interested in plant pathology and the people here, there was just so many cool labs that I could potentially work with and it seemed like the place to be to be doing that. and. Um, it's the science was the big draw. The world class level of science here was definitely the too exciting to pass up. And I think the the reason why I apply is is because it gives you the chance to choose your supervisor in a different way that you choose your supervisor if you don't if you apply for a different scheme. I really felt like I had the choice to explore the the Nori research park at will. And and I think it's it's a great opportunity for a PhD student. Yeah, so. I was just on the lookout for a program that would let me figure out what I wanted to do once I got there rather than having to know uh, before I started. I mean, I realized how good the, the rotation would have been, like the idea of rotating, but I have to admit, I never realized how good it was. Um, I'm looking forward to do my second rotation actually in particular because I choose a computing rotation which I have some experience in programming but I'm not like that experienced and I'm really looking forward to struggle in a way 
to to do something that is not my comfort zone. Right. Like I, I honestly feel like we're just really really well taken care of here, and I'm I'm very very happy about that. And like the science is great, the people are great, and those are my first impressions, and I'm very very happy with those first impressions. So yeah. Like it has exactly all of these freedoms that I've imagined it would have, and more, and even more possibilities than I ever imagined. Scientifically wise, personally wise, also personal development wise, and I think opening up pretty much any career afterwards that we want to do as long as we actually want to achieve that. I've had so far. I have an amazing impression. Uh, here in in this program, you have the opportunity to to talk to to top scientists and also to they are very very enthusiastic persons and also they are very um, they give you the freedom to come with your ideas and with all the facilities we have here. I think the only limit are basically your creativity, your ideas. No? I really like it. I think the John Lewis Centre is a really good place to work. Um, I think there's a really good community, both in terms of the students who have a lot of fun and do good at like nice activities, and also the scientific community is really supportive, and that's like between groups and departments as well. So it's not just within your own group. I mean, I think it's great. I like it. I mean, I was biased towards doing rotations to begin with, and I think it worked out really well for me because I. I didn't necessarily see myself ending up where I did, so I think it was good for me to actually get the in-lab experience and then it was like immediately obvious like what I wanted to do. I mean, you have what I always tell people, that basically the highest concentration of plant microbe research in one place, especially high quality research, at least in my opinion. So there's a ton of big names, but more than big names, it's a very collaborative and supportive environment. So It's very fun. I'm very motivated. I have fun in my social life and I have fun uh, doing the actual work and the community here is so engaging and uh, so inspiring. The part of the science I enjoy is having some results and I think it's quite exciting to have something you've discovered, so I think some big results, hopefully. Um, I also would quite like to go abroad so we have a travel budget with the rotation program. I, no. I'm really looking forward to just getting as much cool stuff done as I possibly can in the next three years. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing some of my project pan out really. That's like the most exciting thing. Especially working in wheat, you do a lot of prep work. And I'm getting to the stage now where in theory I might start seeing a phenotype, you know, <laughs> which would be really exciting. We also have a lot of opportunities to go to conferences and stuff. So as far as opportunities to network and find out what I find interesting, I think it's all pretty much there. I'm hoping that I can like offer more in terms, not in terms of research, but also like in terms of helping other people as well. So now I'm trying to like do some teaching and stuff and see if I can like use the knowledge that I have now to like help other people.